I want to prove that it was not my perception that has been flawed. Let me actually demonstrate how quickly I can actually perceive anything. Now they actually develop a new tactic to actually fool me. I swear to lord, today I actually read it from a GMI's article. It was like Geneva Conventions. I'm not lying. I swear to lord, I saw it. But I was really playing this game to see that my perception is a super accurate. No matter how fast you know it passed by me, I can actually recreate the exact word. Exactly, especially when it comes to plurality and singularity, I can actually prove that what I just saw, that was my mission, I wasn't playing that game. So I really, the moment I, I had no intention of you know, having anything to do with the Geneva Convention, because I was looking into this you know, beautiful city called Geneva, the moment I typed it, what was underneath it, I clearly saw that it was a convention. It never actually said the convention, I saw it. I actually double checked it so I really saw that exact word. I had a no intention of typing the enter button because I was not at all expecting any results with that kind of flawed keyword. It's not really me actually convincing someone else. But that was, you know, a bait. But I have no reason to actually consider it as a bait because I'm not interested in, and I was not at all interested in finding anything related to the Geneva Conventions. So my mission was to prove it. How huh, you think that I didn't really see what was actually underneath this, you know, word. I mean, my mission was to prove that. Oh, I saw, you know, how quickly it might actually have a past. I saw it. That was my mission. But my clear eye really saw that it was a convention. And then, which actually really befuddled me. Why can't you actually say the Geneva Conventions? But I really was clear that it, was, it said the Geneva Conventions. I saw it. I really actually double checked it within that short amount of time. I actually mined my P's and Q's. So I really actually saw that there was no S at the end. So I actually you know, was pretty much bemused. Because, you know, today I really read, you know, what the Jane Myers article saying the Geneva Conventions. But it actually you know, was without S. But my mission, anyhow, anyway, I'm actually handcuffed by my mission to prove the exact word. It was like you know, me spitting out the exact race that was presented to me i'm not lying so i actually followed the very rule that was suggested that was exactly like the script i mean the strip notes or sticky notes i saw you know I, I was aware of the american program sticky notes because i was using sony rio for many years so i actually you know i was fully conscious of this in sticky notes but the suggested one was like sticky note so i thought that oh is that or is that a korean version korean people actually call it a sticky note instead of sticky notes so i actually you know put it in in a word i mean put it in an english word with a singular version then they said that i was like korean excuse me i was actually normally being torn between two different obligations number one if i would actually prove myself that i wanted to actually no oh no if that would be my own competition i definitely wanted to choose the right one no matter what but number two you know my mission is really to you know carbon copy the exact message xerox the exact message that i see then that's my dilemma. What do I need to do? Then you know, I will never actually do this ever again. And this is really crazy. They sometimes have planted a wrongful or grammatically bizarre one to simply you know, dump the charges on me. No, it was not me. I was really bound by my obligation, which is really speed out the exact verbatim. There is there should be no one single line missing one hair out of line. That's normally the case. 왜냐면은 난 너무 똑같이 적어야 돼요. 의무가 있어요. I have an obligation to exactly recreate the message. No, absolutely. That's what I need to do. 그냥 그래서 그래요. 내가 보여줄게. 내가 얼마나 빨리 문장을 보는지 봐봐. 나는 그냥 본걸 적는 걸 연습하는 거였어요. No. 너무 정확하게 적는 거예요. 똑같이 적는 거예요. My mission is exactly the. You know what? Don't get this wrong. My mission here is not really actually you know, correct someone else's misusage. I'm actually supposed to Xerox the exact carbon copy from there. I'm not lying. I'm actually transforming the exact message here. It has nothing to do with me actually rectifying the actual flawed answer. No, no, no. The four hour week in Team Ferris audiobook. I'm actually copying the exact message that I saw. That's my mission. My obligation here is to mirror the very same sentence or phrase that I saw on the screen. 
There should be no modification. This should be exactly bound by the original copy. I'm not lying. It should be like Xerox, a copy machine, to print out the exact the same message. That's it. I'm not lying. <laughs> exactly the same one, right? I'm actually this much a genius, right? Again, if I ever actually really, can I actually say something? This is also grammatically flawed. Why? Because you know what? The German is, it should be like this, but it's not my mission. financial scandal. Let me explain this in English. Here again, you know, the grammatical flaw is very palpable. It sh there should be the but it's a missing because it's a title. Somebody omitted it because it's really the headline or it's the lead, right? Then it's not my job to rectify their grammatical flaws. I was, you know, just like mechanically presenting the exact message. Carbon, if someone actually say A, I should have never actually make it as A slash. No, A dash, no. I need to print out A. If I see A, then I say A. Not really a dash. There should be no change. That was what I was doing. They sometimes abuse the rule of engagement by actually, you know, blaming me for making, you know, grammatical mistakes. I actually just a couple of hours because I had an intention of memorizing lines from Jane Meyer's article. So I paid a very close attention to this tiny line of keywords like the Geneva Conventions. I even actually remember the exact year. I'm not lying. The Geneva Conventions. I saw it because I wanted to memorize this key fact for my presentation or discussion. So I really remember it was like in Geneva Conventions in 1949 and even actually in Deutsche, even in German, Genfa Konventionen. Now, Frederick's father once actually on a press club, he mentioned it. I really remember that I have a very great memory. Yeah, Genfa Konventionen, he actually mentioned it. Do you not remember that? I really heard that. I can still actually hear this voice in a free supply kind of voice because I watched the VDRs of Press Club. Fuck you, asshole. The thing is, I wasn't playing this game. The rule of engagement is very simple. Me actually, you know what? Proving my perception. Sometimes the people blame me for being slow on the uptake. You know, you never actually receive something. You guys, you know what? In the case of the sneaker collection, People actually say that you need to actually write down the exact word you actually saw. Yeah, the sneaker collection, not really sneakers. So I'm actually doing this one. I really, my mission was exactly, you know, approving, you know, copying and Xeroxing and uh, copy machining the exact word that I saw. That was what I was doing. I really actually remember that the, I had I was not I was thinking about something else. I never even wanted to press it, but somebody actually a certain guy behind the screen actually press it. I remember that. I never actually touched any, you know, entrance, enter button. No, my phone is really under control of hackers. I do know that. That's a real reason I never even actually selected the seat of the day, but they changed the answer. I'm not fucking lying. Never in my life I forget that, you know, carpe diem is really the seeds the day. You know, a seeds means to finish. It's not retrospect. Don't fucking try to lie to me. You know, what still actually hurt me emotionally was like the Arkansas. I really actually remember Arkansas because I'm, you know, there was a Japanese and a pop group, you know, ever since I was a kid. So I know that it's really rainbow. I actually know, what is Arkansas? Arkansas? I was on my way to find the right picture. But while I was just scrolling... You know, they actually let me press it. I know they can do that. I'm not really writing a sci-fi fiction. Sometimes they actually let my fingertips, you know, clicked on it. By actually making things much more sensitive. I was just sort of scrolling. But, you know, depending upon their discretion, it could be clicked. I figured that out. I have a very, you know, what... Uh, refine the sensory organs like you know i really have extra sensory you know perception to realize what could possibly be done don't fucking try to mess me mess up with me you know let me actually show you how quickly i can actually perceive anything the wire car case 
Why would you actually say that? <laughs> the poverty in America took it by sale. I'm actually really fast. My mission is again, you know, to present the exact message. You know what? They actually, Germans, you know, biggest post-war financial scandal. Again, this is a really grammatically flawed. Don't actually say that I was the one who made this mistake. My mission again here is bound by the very demand, which is really present the exact same word that I just actually witnessed. Just literally being a very honest witness who would never actually make one hair out of line. Never try to actually, you know, make rendition or modification depending upon my discretion. It was the exact message, exact same one. But the thing is, it should be the Germans' biggest post-war scandal. Don't fucking try to blame me for being a wrong person. No. I feel really bizarre. I'm not fucking lying because I really, I'm not, I swear to the Lord, I know today I really actually wanted to, you know, remember, you know, many of important facts in order to beef up my debating skills or presentation skills. So I was actually, you know, minding my P's and Q's and crossing my, crossing my T's and dotting my I's, crossing the, yeah, crossing the T's and dotting the I's. Oh, that was what I was doing. And I really remember, it was like, you know, at the conventions. I saw it. I even actually remember the year. 1949. I really remember it. Then, you know, the moment I typed the Geneva, the very follow was a convention. I saw it. And I, it actually really struck me weird. I'm not lying. Because there was no S. I really actually double-checked it. Because, you know, it actually caught my attention. I really double-checked it. There was no S. But again, I wanted to prove that, ha, huh, even if you actually throw me a lemon, I can actually make a lemonade out of it by actually catching that distorted version correctly. That was my mission. Even if you throw me a lemon, I can actually, you know, squeeze a lemonade out of it. That was my mission. I know no matter how flawed or unconventional that usage might be, I could actually write down the exact same one by actually not making a rendition or modification to simply, you know, Proof that my perception is not really slow than other Americans. I can actually see what was presented on the screen with exactitude. That was a very devoted mission. I was completely dedicated to that goal. That was nothing else that I was thinking about. That's really what what happened. And I was again proof that you know I I wasn't really the right person. Most of us you know French people say not really Swiss. No, that's not true. La Suisse. La Suisse is exact. And all, when you actually say that, you know, the, the very country, people say La Suisse, you know, they don't actually say Suisse. Suisse est très belle, non. La Suisse est très belle. That's really what normally people, and La Russie, you know, just like the Russia, La Russie, you know, they say La Russie, not really a, a Russie, no. That's not true. Ask other French people. They're a fucking liar. The healthcare divided full documentary and of PBS of Frontline. That's it. I really actually see it once. I would never. Whoa, what am I missing? Are you really, really crazy? I'm not 80. It's a really crazy notion. We are talking about the very California, you know, form. So will Texas become new California? And it, it is with the why? Because you know, the very California, we all know the very same form. We you know there exists. That's, we were actually talking about the very particular case, you know, in a sense, you know, will Texas become the new California? What do you mean by that? Are you crazy? You know, again, don't actually, you know, hold me accountable for any type of a grammatical flaws that might actually be committed by the original authors. My mission here is really actually speed out and spew out the very same message without actually processing it. Don't actually write down B because you, you spot certain grammatical errors. Just say A. That's what you were supposed to do. That's a really good mission. I'm not fucking lying. Yeah. Huh. 
Yogi actually goes and why the Goldman Sachs win from? That's a really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, I know Jimmy Hoffer. Well, you know, there was a John F. Kennedy, but Jimmy Hoffa, Jimmy Hoffa is really the very uh, um, controversial, checkered person, it's true. You know, he, when it comes to the labor union, he is really a founder and a forefather. Uh, without him, there would have been a no United o United Auto Workers, because he was really at the forefront of uh, planting the very idea of uh, equal opportunity for labor. I mean, I mean, is it true? Equal opportunity for proletarian labor workers. It's really true. But his body has never been found. You know, if you ever actually watch American movies often, so you would actually notice that finding the body of Jimmy Hoffa is a really heck of a deal because his body was never uh, not yet found. <laughs> you know, labor. But you know, he was actually really the greatest enemy of the United States at some point because he was engaged with lots of uh, unlawful or backdoor deal with the mafia. And there were certain type of complications there. That was a real big reason. J. Edgar Hoover and the FBI was constantly searching for Jimmy Hoffa. It's true. The, the very same era when, you know, JFK was there, there was also, you know, J. Edgar Hoover. How many people were actually searching for, uh, searching to buy, you know, J. Edgar Hoover? You know, Marco Max. Marco Max was really the person who was highly sought after. And Jimmy Hoffa was not at all exception. Yeah, the same era. Because he was actually really in, in, inciting, you know, um, a dispute between the corporations and the laborers by inspiring them with the, you know, inspiring them with the sense of equal... Not really equal opportunity. I mean, what do, what, what do we actually say? That? You know, Jimmy Alpha was really the person preaching the message that might sound really dangerous to many in power. Because he was constantly preaching the sermon full of uh, revolutionary ideas. You know, workers can always claim higher wages or they could actually, you know, want to demand more from their job givers and this type of a dangerous or... I'm someone, you know, left-leaning and radical ideas definitely unsettled, you know, those who are skeptical of the uh, influence of communism. And that was really the era, you know, the communism. And then later, I just, I know, a couple of years later, and there will be the arrival of, uh, what's that? I don't know, yeah, almost in the sim similar period, um, Joseph McCarthy and the Gary Khan. Who would be constantly going after labor unions by actually blaming them for having ties with the communists, you know, commies. Now that's a really the era. Yeah, sure. Why would you actually say that? I don't really know who Jimmy Hoffa is. Jimmy Hoffa is a very important person. It would be almost inconceivable for the United States to have such a you know, big labor union like the UAE. I'm not lying. AFLCAO. Uh, AFLCAO. The American Federal uh, American Federal ID. Uh, do you remember the AFLCO? I'm not really so sure. I'm gonna actually try American 